Hello everybody, this is Justin and this is another video about Nespresso. Specifically, this video is about the Nespresso Virtual Line pod sizes. When we first started, there was definitely a bunch of confusion of which pod size to get. They've cleaned their website up in the last year or so, but before they go off these little pictures and it was impossible to tell what the pictures were. But now on their website, they have it broken down by names, which makes it a little easier. But I know a lot of people still go off pictures, which it's really hard because if you look at like say these two at the end, the Alto and then the coffee, the pods look the same size, but obviously they give you much different results. So it's kind of hard to tell just from the pictures. So I'll just go down the line real quick and explain what each size is. So down here we have the smallest and that's their espresso. That's 1.7 ounces and that's anywhere from 85 to 150 milligrams of caffeine. The next size up is the double espresso, which you guessed it, it's 2.7 ounces, so it's double the single shot. And with that, you get 130 to 200 milligrams of caffeine. The next up is the Gran Lungo, that's five ounces, and that's about the same caffeine as this, where it's 135 to 200. Beyond that is the normal coffee size, which is 7.77 ounces, and that's 165 milligrams of caffeine. And this is the Alto at 14 ounces and 190 milligrams of caffeine. This used to be their biggest size. They now have a pour over that's 18 ounces, but this machine doesn't do it, so I don't have any experience with that. So two things that are kind of interesting right off the bat, which is the price doesn't go from smallest to largest. There are times where a coffee capsule will be much cheaper than an espresso capsule. Just depends on if you're getting a seasonal, flavor or some type of specialty flavor or something like that. But typically they start from about 85 cents, which is actually the espresso, all the way up to $2, which is, it could be any of these in some type of seasonal flavor. The other difference is, is the caffeine. It does go up as it gets larger, but you can have a double espresso that has 200 milligrams of caffeine, which is more than the Alto. The caffeine typically is more potent by the darkness of the roast when, when you're in the lower roast. I found once you're in coffee and up, it's the same. This, all of the coffees are 165, except for the decaffeinated, and then all of the Altos are 190. But when you're at Grand Lungo and under, it seems to just be the darkness of the roast defines how much caffeine is in it. And again, it can be more than, than the larger cups. So what would you use these for? I think the best way to learn which capsules you'll use normally is just to buy one of each and then see what type of drinks you're enjoying. If you're enjoying lattes, I would say from the Gran Lungo down, we actually do mostly lattes in our house, but we only use the double espresso and the espresso typically, and then we'll also have a coffee. We rarely have a Gran Lungo here and we never have and Alto here. I would say if you like Americanos, the Gran Lungo is for that. It's obviously just add a little water and it would be the same size as a normal coffee. And if you just like coffee, there's all kinds of different flavors for coffee. The Alto, they typically don't have a bunch of flavors for it, but they do have lots of different flavors. Like this one here is Variation Italia. I think it's supposed to taste like a biscotti, I think. I'm not 100% sure. With all the different flavors of coffee, sometimes we go through a coffee kick where that's all we'll get and we won't really have any of the espresso or, or double espressos here. It just depends on the season and I think the best way to do that is to get all of them and see which one you start drinking. I will say that lattes and cappuccinos and things like that are actually fairly easy to make on for yourself. So if you are thinking about getting into them, you totally should. I also know that we typically go for medium roast, whether it's a seasonal or just a standard flavor. We typically are in that middle line with the roast. I don't really know why. I don't know if I could actually taste test it, but that's what I seem to keep buying. Yeah, so hopefully this was a simple breakdown for you of the different Nespresso sizes. Let me know if you have any questions and thanks for watching.